Hey y'all, TMG here. I just want to show off some silliness and a tutorial on how to make it happen. So, if you want some sort of ridiculous, amazing changes to your avatar in stream that could be redeemed by viewers, this is one of my favorites and one of my chat's favorite. This is called Beaver Time. Another one that gets redeemed a lot is called Uumi. So we got the fantastic Uumi face. And the cute voice mod voice. So I used to do the Uumi voice myself, but it hurts my throat. So voice mod to the rescue. I will be doing a tutorial on StreamerBot. So let's begin the tutorial. All right, so I have two types of voice mod redeems. I have one which is just the voice change, and the second version are the voice change and a change in my avatar state. Sorry for the editing, I am still figuring all of this out. Because StreamerBot is logic-based, you're going to have to enable and disable and add pauses. These tiny pauses will help the application enable and disable various states. So you're gonna start with a delay. You're going to enable your voice mod changer state, which will turn it to on. Then the second delay, you're gonna say select voice. And you can choose many of the voices. There's free ones, or if you get the one-time license, there are dozens of voices to choose from. So since we enabled, you also have to have a disable voice changer state. So you'll see lots of duplication here. Once you have your voice change and the state, you're gonna add your hotkey. So you're gonna go get the keyboard press, go to whichever program you use for PNG tubing. I use Vadio tube, and you'll see as you mouse over, which are my macros. Also, for VAD YouTube, you have to make sure that you're on hotkey mode and not press and release. Otherwise, it'll briefly turn it on and it will turn back off. Once you get your hotkeys, then you can add it into StreamerBot. So for this test example, I'm going to enter my thinking phase. <laughs> so again, since it's logic based, you have to enter the state, have a delay, and then you're going to have to have it enter your normal state or whichever one you choose for for your redeems. around because most likely you want more than 10 milliseconds for your redeems you can make it as long or as short as you like but we're gonna go for a minute which is 60,000 milliseconds once you have your redeem time made we're just gonna go back over our actions and make sure we have everything we need so let's go we have an initial delay select voice Delay, change your state, enabled, delay, change your avatar state, your redeem time, and you're gonna disable the voice changer, delay, and then change your avatar. Simple, right? <laughs> Once you have your action made, it's time to make it a channel point reward. So you'll go to platforms, channel point rewards, name it, add how many points it's going to cost, who can use it, how many uses, etc. You've done this a dozen times before. All right, so let's see if this works. If I go to my channel redemptions and click on my test for YouTube, we're gonna redeem it. So this should change my voice. If not, sometimes it takes a second. Yeah. So hopefully, 
It'll change your voice and also change your state. And then after a minute, it'll stop. We program StreamerBot for 60,000 milliseconds. So after that time is off, the state will change and the voice will be disabled. If you want the redeem to be longer or shorter, just put in how long of a delay you want. I have noticed that sometimes voice mod doesn't turn on at least the first redeem of the stream. So I recommend having a macro on your keyboard just in case so you can just click it and you'll hear that beep boop and that will let you know that the voice was enabled or disabled. So whether or not you have a stream deck, you can use StreamerBot to use your hotkeys to do all sorts of things with VideoTube, voice mod. It's awesome and it's all automated so you don't have to be trying to figure out what tab you're on to get these redeems for your viewers. Um, I have a full keyboard so I use the number pad for all of my macros and I did that for the first year and then I got a stream deck, a used one, shh, a used one for much cheaper. So now I have a stream deck but if you have a number pad on your keyboard, use that or I'm pretty sure you can get just a numpad off Amazon for like $10, $12. I call it my poor person's <laughs> stream deck because yeah, stream decks are expensive and that's why I have a used one. Anywho, I hope this tutorial helps you. Thank you so much and like and subscribe to see more of my shenanigans. Laters!